A love of food, travel, and comedy brought our next two guests together to the delight of over 5 million loyal fans. We had the Hops and Hot Sauce Festival at the Spindle Tap Brewery. Last time I had hot sauce, I almost died. Uh. It's going to be super lit. Let's go. Ooh, the honey hole is tasty. Tangy. It's roasted. Roasted right. chipotle. I like that. A little kick to it, too, but, not, but not crazy. No, man. <laughs> it looks like it comes like in a liquor bottle, too. That's what's up. Look at that. And you got his angry daughter on there. Hell yeah. Like, you better buy this. Yeah, but have they ever had a smoky mimosa? Please welcome the host of the wildly popular YouTube series, Sin Foods, Timothy Delaghetto and David So. Good Hi. morning. Hi. Hey. What's up? Hey. How's have you going? ever? Uh, Have you ever seen a smoky mimosa? No. Uh, no, not like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, it's it's of course big because everything in Texas is big. I see I that. Know. Yeah. I see that. No, I'm ready. Serving only, huh? Like, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back a little bit uh, for those people who don't know. So, Timothy, mm -hmm. your background, uh, actor, rapper, you've done TV, MTV, and things mm -hmm. like that before. Mm -hmm. uh, you're part of this brave new world of YouTube. Right that allows people to skip the red tape and do their own thing. Yeah, true, true, yeah, and, and that's what's beautiful about about um, what we do in, in the show because I, I literally was just doing it um, out of pocket on my own YouTube channel, you uh -huh. know, I was like, hey, I hit him up, I was like, hey man, uh, I'm going to a food festival, I'm gonna get drunk and I'm gonna film it, do you wanna come with yes. me? Yes! Come eat some good food with me because he also likes to eat, he also likes to drink, and um, I knew David was a funny dude, so. Yeah, usually we're doing stand-up comedy since what, about 16 years old, also yeah. singer, songwriter, and we talk about getting material for comedy, I would imagine that festival is right up there. Oh, oh for yeah, sure. we <laughs> some crazies. Of yeah. course, of course. Yeah, no, we met a lady in Florida that said she had died in 1999. Oh, yeah. Oh. I make oh. a great fish head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what she said. She said I made a fish head last night. Yeah, and she kept running around the festival, Saying following that we were playing us. with children. She had in died the yard. in 1999. She said, like, yes. and, and she didn't mention that she came back though. Did she realize that she had come back? Yeah, I mean, I think she was trying yeah. to sell us uh, a CD, her album. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And then right after we, we met, and I shook her hand, she said, I had scabies last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, and then he touched my face. Yeah. That's crazy. How did you come up with the idea for Sin Foods? I mean, obviously, uh, you're going out, you love food and the whole mm -hmm. bit, but to actually do this as a YouTube piece, and then to actually get to eat and drink for free. Yeah. Everywhere. Well, you know, I mean, I, I love food shows. I love stuff like, you know, like Anthony Bourdain, all mm -hmm. that, you know, Bizarre Foods. And, and I thought, like, um, there's a whole generation, I feel, of, of foodies that, you know, maybe they're not necessarily as, like, uh, bougie with it, you yeah, know? It's like, yeah. we, we just, we well, love right food, you know? The, yeah, exactly. Wine and we, yes, yeah, yes. exactly. We bring it to a quick saute. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I like that too. Yeah, know? right. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, what you did is you made food what it is. It brings people around the table. It can be fun. Uh, there are recipes, and then there are rules to be broken. Mm -hmm. And so we have a few rules to be broken here today. Mm. Uh, compliments of the turkey leg hut. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and bring oh. Chef in right now. Okay, you've been all over the place. Have you ever? Uh, no. Not have like you this. Ever. No. This is. I, I hesitate to call it turkey leg. It's like calling a, like a, a BMW a cup holder. Uh, okay, <laughs> but it's, it's like, what is this right here? Put this that microphone a, up there. Yeah. This is a Cajun Mac leg. Speaking of doing your own thing, turkey leg hut. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We're doing our own thing. Yes, mm -hmm. you are. We Go. have the biggest turkey leg in Houston and probably in Texas. And, and the craziest turkey leg, because every time I go to a festival, it's just the turkey leg. <laughs> and, and you got some extra stuff going on right here. I don't even know here. where the turkey leg is. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you have to dig through to find the turkey leg. Yeah. Here. And what's this right well, here? That's for Alfredo leg. Shrimp leg. Okay, Alfredo Shrimp You're leg. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and on down there for the little petite legs. That's for Hennessy. Wings. Hennessy. Hennessy, Hennessy. Yes. Hennessy yes. wings. Hold yes. on one second. I'm gonna have to have some fries. She said, let me just let me just suck the Hennessy sauce wings. off it. Yeah, <laughs> all the sauce. Mm. Are we going in already? Oh, can we go for the wings? Because yeah. uh, look, I'm sucking the Hennessy out of it. Yeah, that's good. Let me try. Okay, so you all have been around town. We saw you at the rodeo and some different places. Mm-hmm. What do you have to say about Houston's food scene? We're the most diversity in the country, and that spills over into our food. So what do you think about our food? Houston's food scene is popping. Like, you know, everybody talks about LA, San Francisco, and New York being like the mecca of food. Mm -hmm. Houston's coming up. A lot of innovative chefs are coming to Houston, and you guys are doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. And your message with your YouTube series, Two People About Food, is... <laughs> You can talk with your mouth full on this show. Oh. Uh, 
try things, right? So yeah, many of us I mean, are, in, are in our little box of what we'll eat, or we'll go, oh, I don't eat that. I don't right, want that, right? Mm-hmm. And, right. We eat everything. And I feel like with that attitude, you're missing out on so much. You know, there's so much food out there. There's so much different kinds of food from all, like, so many different places and people. Like, why not just try it out? At the very least, try it out, you know? Or else mm-hmm. you'll be missing out. You yeah. know, I love it because a lot of the food that we used to get made fun of it for, as kids, Everybody's trying that stuff. Well, now. you you grew up with like a lot of cultural foods, obviously uh, yeah. uh, Korean and Thai, right? Mm-hmm. And I grew up in Taiwan, mm. and oh. so uh, Asian people eat anything. Well, yeah, right, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, and, and so it's, do it's a little people. disgusting so too. So do black people. So let me tell you, my house is very interesting, right? <laughs> your, your chicken better look like an archaeological dig after. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. As a kid, I would always ask that question. I think a lot of kids do. I go, but Daddy, what 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 meat is this? What animal? What does the animal look like that this comes from? And they're trying to show, uh, tell me that chitlins were vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a vegetable, Daddy. That's culture. But, Tofu, anyway, yeah. tofu chitlins. Yeah, tofu chitlins. <laughs> right? So to, to kind of get out of your box there, what's the best thing you've tasted so far, ever? On the show? Um, I mean, uh, let's see, what do you think, bro? I know what the best thing you tasted is. Hmm. Oh, the turkey you ate, Yeah, you no, eating no, it right no. now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a Cajun I, shrimp leg. A, a Cajun shrimp leg. And this one right here is? And that's our Cajun bowl. Okay. And dirty rice. Mm. Dirty rice. Our grilled salmon. Mm-hmm. And our Cajun mac and cheese. All right. Yeah. I need to wash it down with some. Can you pass the drink down? Oh, yeah. Are you, are you, are you, Would you mind? That okay. Let's see if I can lift it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, what my God. Yeah. I haven't been to the gym in a month. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. We shall sip it together. Here oh, we go. I'm down. Just, yeah. Let's get it. Suck the straw in and mm-hmm. don't let it Oh, that is Ooh. good. Okay, that's a Texas size serving right there. I'm gonna Ooh, no, I don't, no, don't take that. So good. Yo, okay. <laughs> what do you have coming up next? Oh, what do we have coming up next? Yeah. Um, we're just doing a lot of shooting, shooting around the country. We go to Hawaii in a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. So just shoot a little spam festival out there, mm-hmm. and um, we just uh, we're just traveling, shooting, eating, trying not to gain too much weight, you know, or my or my like my my wife will divorce me. But yeah. other than that, well, if y'all you know. ever need like an extra, you know, to do a, do a tie break or something like that, just call me and let me know. Let's okay. do it. Can you can you get them a drink too? Yeah. All right, so, thank you. You can catch Timothy and David Send Foods episodes on YouTube for links and more information on Thrill List, Send Foods, and Turkey Leg Huck. Log on to GreatDayHouston.com, and we will connect you. They're really eating this food. They're not just tasting. They're really nope. eating the food. Not as breakfast. Right. Yeah. It's good. Good, isn't it?